Today we are going to look at the Bridgeways Manager Pack for JBoss Application Servers. This Manager Pack is designed to provide IT administrators and application owners with a detailed view on the performance, availability, and configuration of the JBoss servers in their environments. JBoss can be a difficult platform to manage. Its flexible and modular architecture allows for a wide variety of possible customizations, and this tends to lead to a deployment scenario where there are few guarantees around how each JBoss server will be set up. This leads to a situation where it's difficult and time-consuming to troubleshoot incidents that are occurring. The Bridgeways Manager Pack helps to bring some much-needed insight into the JBoss world. Through the discoveries that provide you with the values for many of those configuration elements, to the monitors alerting you to impending outages and performance metrics that show just how healthy the servers are, you have the tool you need to retain control of your JBoss environment. The JBoss Manager Pack is a native MP in Operations Manager. It shares a common layer with all of the Bridgeways Java MPs. The Java Application Server Monitoring is all handled through our Java Collector that pulls data from the monitor server through GMX and provides it to the individual packs that know how to monitor specific servers, like a JBoss Application Server. Authentication for the Manager Pack is handled through Run as Accounts. Using a Run as Account, a user is able to store the credentials that it needs to connect to the JBoss server. These credentials are then associated with the individual servers by using the run as profiles. Taking a look at the service model for JBoss, you can see how we've modeled the JBoss servers. We go from the application server through the applications that are exposed through the server down into the connector, the garbage collector running within the JVM, the JCA connection pool showing our connections to the backend data stores, and all the way down into the thread pool. Through this model, you're able to get both high-level and detailed views on how healthy the JBoss server is. Moving into the health model, let's take a look at the health from the highest levels. We're going to look at the health of an individual server. In this health model, you're able to see both the availability, configuration, and of course, you're able to get into performance. And it's through roll-ups that you're able to connect at the highest level and then drill deeper into the performance of individual pieces within the JBoss application server. And, of course, you're going to get KB. So these monitors are here so that you can move away from reactive monitoring and only look at things whether or not they're up and down and move into proactive monitoring. We're able to set thresholds and be able to trigger alarms that let you know that you're getting into trouble in your JBoss environment. The KB itself is how you take administrators who don't necessarily know a lot about JBoss and teach them what it really means when some of these monitors go. There's a good summary of what does the monitor do, what can cause the monitor, so how does it move into an unhealthy state, and what are some of the common steps that you would take to resolve this unhealthy state. It's through looking at some of these resolutions and causes that administrators are able to correlate data from one manager pack to another where they could start to see that it could be because we're having CPU issues that were run into a lot of busy threads. Or we could be having an issue with the backend database and the connection pool's timing out versus the database itself just taking too long in terms of executing queries. And all this information is available from either the high level or the detailed views. It's all up to you where you want to control your view of the Health Explorer. Moving into the performance views, we're able to go to the next level of monitoring. Instead of only monitoring and for alerts to see whether or not something has gone wrong or looks like it may be going wrong according to some thresholds, we can start to look at performance and we can start to see what kind of load was JBoss being placed on when some of these monitors fired or through trend analysis, how well is JBoss going to be able to handle the load it's currently being placed under in the future. We're able to get information around the sessions, the local cache for the applications, how much time we're spending doing cleanup within those applications, down into the connectors where we can get things like the request rates and the number of errors per second that are occurring on each of those connections, into the garbage collector. We're able to see how often are we doing collection and how much CPU time is being used up by the GC. We can also get information around the connection pools, so how well are we using our connection pools to the back-end data stores and all the way down into the servers themselves where we can see things like the CPU and memory usage and again this is great information to see whether or not over time we may have something like a memory leak are we constantly consuming more memory is it never going down or are we placing more load on the system over time 
and that could be watching just your average CPU usage as it changes. As you can see, the BridgeWise Manager Pack for JBoss Application Servers is a deep dive into the availability and performance of your JBoss servers and will provide you with the information you need to proactively monitor and maintain those servers, leading to reduced downtime and faster problem resolution when issues do arise.